Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a few notches of my battery left, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And these are my fall, fall scents, winter scents, candles, things that are gonna make you feel and smell Christmassy, fall-like, holiday time, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start off with perfumes. And as the perfume that I have, of course it is one of like a few of my favorite because I really like sweet and spicy scents. Um, kind of like borderline musky almost. So um, ones that I don't mention, I will put like in the bio, but let's just get started. Some of them are actually very popular. Um, but the first one, I don't even know if I should do this to y'all because I don't think you can get it anymore. Maybe you can on like eBay or something, but it's by the KKW fragrance and it's Kylie Jenner's nude lip fragrance. And this smells like vanilla marshmallow winter. Like this reminds me of like the month December for sure. I don't know. Very, very sweet marshmallow vanilla. I don't know. All the notes and stuff. Shoot, I don't know. I'm just telling you what I think, what it smells like to me, and what it reminds me of. So this definitely is an evening to night wear, in my opinion. Morning, not so much. Doesn't really wake me up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, the next one I'm just going to go with off the bat is the most popular freaking scent ever. It is the Ariana Grande Cloud. The Cloud Intense 2.0, I don't have, but I think that I would get that next time. This is like my third time purchasing this. I cannot get enough of it. Oh my God. It's marshmallow, musk, sweet, spicy, almost manly. Like I've, I've smelled it on other people and it kind of smells manlier. And then on me, it pulls off more like marshmallow. So good, pretty inexpensive, comes with the, the cloud little holder. I wanted to get this one out of the way before everyone starts freaking out about how like overrated this perfume is. But honestly, don't care, love it. Isn't really talked about, could be. Decent price. This is like my signature scent, I feel like. And it has like a sweet, but spicy. I guess I like sweet and spicy. Did I already say that? I don't know. This is like a sweet, spicy, like, guava i think guava's in the notes um oh sorry it is the mac shade scent in the shade candy yum yum and even though the name says candy yum yum it's really not that candy like it very much is like an evening scent i meant to tell you i would wear this like all day but this is definitely an evening scent it smells oh my god like a mac store like it smells like a high-end department store and I honestly feel like this scent is all year round this I think I wore this on my wedding day I really think I did I can't remember but it just smells like guava spicy like I smell a spice to it like maybe even a little floral I'm not sure but definitely a sweet spicy God, how many times am I gonna say sweet spicy? Anyways, Candy Yum Yum by MAC Shade Scents. One that I've actually been on a kick and I went into the store and smelled this like 17 times before I actually bought it. Like I would spray it, leave the store, come back, smell it again. And I would go, oh, it doesn't really smell like how it did yesterday. Then I would go back and I would be like, oh my God, but I'm actually obsessed with it. And somebody had this on at work, like not one of, not one of my coworkers, but a customer. And I was like, what is that smell? Like, what is that? That's like me in a bottle. And then they told me, and then when I went to go smell it, I was like, are you sure, is she sure this was right? But then as I wear it and everything, it's definitely that scent. It is a very rosy, musky scent. No sweet in it at all. And it is called the Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Femme. And, oh, I, I forgot to tell y'all, this is an Odar Parfum. Is that how you say it? The shade scent is a Odar perfume. Perfume, I don't know how to say it. And then the, I don't know, they don't think say. Anyway, I don't know what that one is. And then this one, who freaking knows? Okay, so anyway, this smells like a rose, a dry down rose, like a desert rose. The months 
December, January, February, March even. Oh my God, like it smells like a sexy, like Valentine smell. I don't know, it's so hard to explain. Like the first note, you're like, oh, And then the middle, I'm like, ooh. And then the dry down, I'm like, <sighs> Like it's just very that, you know? Like this match together, ooh. Also, really quick, a notable mention that I don't have that I'm planning on getting is the Bon Bon, the purple bottle. It smells like caramel mixed with like heaven. Oh my God, so good. Next one I feel like is a popular one, but definitely a very specific scent. Some days I put it on and I'm like, meh. And then some days I put it on and I'm like, yeah, that's so good. And then some days I wear it and I'm like, yeah. The black opium. I hope this is not, this might be the intense version. Yes, it is. Maybe that's why some days I'm like, bleh. Um, it's Eau, Eau de Perfume extreme which is the intense this smells the most manly musky scent of all of them i don't even know the hints of, the notes of this i smell vanilla like woods coffee that's kind of weird but i don't know it's like all very musky and I really love this but this is definitely a nighttime scent October through like March it's so good those are all of my perfumes for the fall winter season I I should probably get the notes okay I'll do the notes at the end so if you actually really want to know the notes of the um I'm sorry I just realized my camera's a little crooked but if you actually want to know the notes of the perfume I'm gonna put it in at the end. So go to the end of the video if you wanna know the notes. I'm gonna get through these candles really quick and then we will be done with this. So, so this is a perfect holiday scent for Christmas and it's from Bath and Body Works. Most of these candles are from Bath and Body Works. And this is called Holiday and I love that it has the notes on the bottom already and it's red cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds, ground nutmeg, and essential oils. And it's called Holiday. It's literally already burnt out but Oh my God, I get clove first and then cinnamon and then nutmeg. At first, I really hated this candle. And I was like, well, at first, obviously I bought it, I liked it. But then I smelled it and I was like, ugh, put it out. Like when you have the Christmas tree set up and it's nighttime and you put this lit, li light this candle, it's so good. So that one's holiday. It is called Spiced Cardamom and it is from Bath and Body Works, obviously. And the notes are cardamom, cinnamon spice, and dark cedar wood. But this, I'm not gonna be weird, but kind of smells like an old man, but in like the best way. So it's probably that dark cedar wood that smells like an old man, but like a rich old man. <laughs> rich old man in December with a suit on playing piano. That's what it smells like. <laughs> The next candle is literally an oldie but a goodie, like a staple in fall and winter time, and it's called Flannel. Everybody knows this by now, I feel like. It's also from Bath & Body Works, and it is Heirloom Mahogany Bergamot and Soft Musk. And this, this smells like a corn maze. Like, not corn, like not sweet, like just or like a haunted house. Like you're going on a date and it's like dark outside, but it's still like six o'clock, but it's like jet black. And you wear this. <laughs> you put this on and like your whole night smells like this, like at a haunted house. Oh my God, it's so good. I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> Next candle and the last candle from Bath and Body Works is definitely a Christmas scent and it's called Under the Christmas Tree. And the notes are Ball, fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves. This is Christmas in a jar. It's, my mom got this for me and it smells so good and we both have already burned it out, but this is like what you are gonna light the whole week of Christmas. Smells like, smells like a Christmas tree at the mall, like an expensive Christmas tree. One more time. Okay. That's enough. That's all the Bath & Body Works candles. Next two, one's from Hobby Lobby and then the other one's from Target. So this one from Hobby Lobby, I actually hated at first, again, 
it's definitely not a scent that you can put anywhere but the kitchen. Like if you put this in your bathroom, it's gonna be very weird. And you can't put it in a small space because it's very strong. But this is called Warm Cookies and it's from Hobby Lobby. And I don't know what the notes are, but it smells like legit cookies. Uh, this smells like... Hold on, let me close it again. I have to like paint a picture for you. This smells like... Not a grandma's house. A middle-aged lady with a cottage cooking, baking cookies. And her house is like very cottagey. But, but, I don't know, it's so good. I'm gonna show you this cup. This, it is this Starbucks cup and it is gold and it just reminds me of like glam in the winter time million dollars like all i just think of is the million dollar cup that's what it looks like and this was 24.95 but i think target was having a sale on it i don't know i like the short cups because i can put it under my coffee maker and uh they're just easier to carry around but i do have some tall cups but i'm like on this kick where i'm just like collecting starbucks cups i don't know i'm weird let me grab all the notes for the perfume really quick and then I'll put that now and then, yeah, I'll be back. I had black marks from the freaking candle I was smelling. Which candle did that to me? I don't even know, probably this one. I forgot to say the Target candle that is like the star of the show to me aesthetically is this Christmas tree gold candle and it just pops off like that. And it smells like a citrusy Christmas tree. The scent isn't that great, but the look of it is like so chic. And it was $15. So yeah, very pretty just sitting there. Notes of candy yum yum. Fruity, sweet, tropical, floral, fresh, powdery vanilla, iris, and caramel. So that's where I get the spice from is that caramel, but I guess this is actually a fruity, sweet on the top notes and the bottom notes dries down to that iris and caramel. Black opium is van the top. Vanilla coffee, so I was right on that coffee. Sweet, warm, spicy, white floral, soft, spicy, fruity, woody, powdery, and balsamic. Okay, so it's, that's the bottom notes when the dry down notes is woody, balsamic. But vanilla and coffee is the top notes. Gucci Guilty, absolute, pour femme, whatever, is the first notes is woody, Fruity, rose, aromatic, patchouli, sweet, and fresh, spicy. Definitely what I smell for sure. The rose, the fresh, spicy, that patchouli, and that woody for sure. Cloud is sweet. That's like the main open thing. Then it's lactonic, which I think is like milky. Vanilla, coconut, musky. Okay, that's pretty accurate for that one. Is the Kylie Jenner KKW Nude Lips. And this opening is vanilla and then aldehydic? What the heck is that? T Tahitian vanilla, amber musk, um, powdery mineral, warm, spicy, amber, and sweet. So, I told you I like sweet and spicy. Like, that's the theme of these perfumes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this was kind of like a rambled on video. Subscribe. Do I still have that black thing on my nose? I sure do. Thanks a lot, candles.